द सेकेंड वेव ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन इन इंडिया और वेलम द हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम ऑफ द कंट्री बिकॉज ऑफ द एक्सपोनशली इंक्रीजिंग केसेस ऑफ द वायरस अटैक अमिट द क्राइसिस देर वॉज ए बस अबाउट ए न्यू स्ट्रेन ऑफ द नोवल कोरोना वायरस विद पोटेंशली डेंजरस डबल म्यूटेशन इन इट्स जीनो ऑल्सो डब्ल्यू एच ओ रीसेंटली क्लासीफाइड दिस वेरियंट दैट इज ट्रेन बी वन सिक्स वन सेवन एस ए वेरियंट ऑफ ग्लोबल कंसर्न There is some available information to suggest increased transmissibility of B1617 as such we are classifying this as a variant of concern at the global level. Hi I'm Sharath I have more than 5 years of experience in teaching science and technology for competitive examinations including UPSC civil service examination. In this channel we provide you with worth your time educational videos. In this video we are going to find out answers to the following questions to ultimately understand what is that so called double mutant coronavirus found in india so let's begin first of all we need to understand what's a virus virus is basically a genetic material either dna or rna protected by a protein coating called a capsid the genetic material and capsid is commonly called nucleocapsid some viruses also have a lipid envelope around them which is derived from an infected cell membrane it is basically non functional outside a host cell so it is not considered as a living thing outside the host cell because of that it is not included in the five kingdom classification of organisms The goal of the virus is to replicate but it cannot replicate by itself. Viruses must infect cells and use components of the host cell to make copies of themselves. Often they kill the host cell in the process and cause damage to the host organism. There are different types of viruses based on the structure they can be be classified into helical, polyhedral, spherical and complex viruses. Based on the genetic material inside them they can also be classified as DNA viruses and RNA viruses. These genetic materials can be single stranded or double stranded. RNA viruses can be also divided into positive sense and negative sense RNA viruses. Sense of a DNA or RNA refers to the nature of the role of the strand. Positive sense viral RNA can be immediately translated into protein by the host cell ribosome. Negative sense RNA need to be converted to positive sense RNA before the translation or protein synthesis. Novel coronavirus has a positive sense RNA as its genetic material and as i said earlier all these can be further classified into unenveloped and enveloped viruses coronavirus is a spherical virus with a several spike like proteins on its surface because of this crown like structure it got the name coronavirus novel coronavirus as the name suggests is a new variant of the coronavirus with a high level of transmissibility or infectivity the coronavirus study group of the international committee on taxonomy of viruses formally named the new coronavirus as severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 that is sars cov 2 like other coronaviruses sars cov 2 has four structural proteins spike protein envelope protein membrane protein and a nucleocapsid protein which encapsulates a single stranded viral rna genome spike proteins of the virus attaches to the receptors of the host cell membrane in order to get an entry into the cell cytoplasm once the virus enters in the cytoplasm it dumps its single stranded viral rna genome to the host cell cytoplasm and the viral genome hijacks the resources inside the cell to create multiple copies of itself and in that process it destroys the host cell in order to further understand the subject we need to study what is this single stranded viral rna genome first of all let's understand what's a genome genome is the end set of genetic instructions found inside a cell of an organism or inside a virus it is like a blueprint or instruction manual to build an organism or a virus and to make it functional in humans the genome consists of 23 pairs of chromosomes found in the nucleus as well as a small chromosome found in the cell's mitochondria and each chromosome is a bundle of dna strands for us we will get our genome transferred from our parents father will contribute half of the genome and mother will contribute another half of our genome for virus viral genomes consist of dna or rna but never both and it is called a dna virus or rna virus depending on the genome 
ദിസ് വൈറൽ ജീനോം ഈസ് ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ടു ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ജനറേഷൻ ഓഫ് വൈറസസ് ത്രൂ റിപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ എ വൈറസ് നീഡ് ടു റിപ്ലിക്കേറ്റ് ബോത്ത് ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ജീനോം ആൻഡ് സ്ട്രക്ചറൽ ആൻഡ് നോൺ സ്ട്രക്ചറൽ പ്രോട്ടീൻസ് ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൺ കോപ്പീസ് ദിസ് റിപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ പ്രോസസ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് പെർഫെക്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് സം ടൈംസ് എറേഴ്സ് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദ റിപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ജീനോം ദീസ് എറേഴ്സ് ഹാപ്പൻ ടു ദ ജീനോം ഈസ് കോൾഡ് മ്യൂട്ടേഷൻ ഇൻ സിമ്പിൾ ടേംസ് മ്യൂട്ടേഷൻ ഈസ് ബേസിക്കലി എ സിമ്പിൾ പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് എ മിസ്റ്റേക്ക് മെയ്ഡ് ഇൻ എ ഡി എൻ എ സീക്വൻസ് ഓർ ആർ എൻ എ സീക്വൻസ് ആസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ബീങ് കോപ്പീഡ് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി ട്രാൻസ്മിറ്റഡ് ഫ്രം വൺ ജനറേഷൻ ടു അനദർ വെതർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എൻ ഓർഗാനിസം ഓർ എ വൈറസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ നാച്ചുറൽ ബയോളജിക്കൽ പ്രോസസ് വിച്ച് കോൺട്രിബ്യൂട്ട്സ് ഫോർ ഇവല്യൂഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ജനറലി ഹെൽപ്പ് ദ ഓർഗാനിസം ടു അഡാപ്റ്റ് ടു ദ ചേഞ്ചിങ് എൻവിറോൺമെൻറ്റൽ കണ്ടീഷൻസ് അതർ ദാൻ ഫ്രം മിസ്റ്റേക്സ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് നോർമൽ റിപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ മ്യൂട്ടേഷൻ ക്യാൻ ഓൾസോ ബി ഇൻഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ബൈ തിങ്സ് ലൈക്ക് അയോണൈസിംഗ് റേഡിയേഷൻ ലൈക്ക് എക്സ്റേ യു വി റേ എക്സെട്ര ഓർ കാർസിനോജൻസ് ഇൻ എ വേ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ഇൻക്രീസ് ദ റിസ്ക് ഓഫ് ക്യാൻസേഴ്സ് ഓർ ബർത്ത് ഡിഫക്ട്സ് ബിഫോർ കണ്ടിന്യൂയിങ് അവർ ഡിസ്കഷൻ ഓൺ മ്യൂട്ടേഷൻ വി ഷുഡ് ഹാവ് എ ബേസിക് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് അബൌട്ട് ഡി എൻ എ ആർ എൻ എ ആൻഡ് ജീൻ ഡി എൻ എ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡി ഓക്സി റൈബോ ന്യൂക്ലിക് ആസിഡ് ആൻഡ് ആർ എൻ എ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് റൈബോ ന്യൂക്ലിക് ആസിഡ് ആർ ടു മേജർ ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ന്യൂക്ലിക് ആസിഡ്സ് ന്യൂക്ലിക് ആസിഡ്സ് ആർ കോംപ്ലക്സ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സ് മെയ്ഡ് അപ്പ് ഓഫ് ലീനിയർ ചെയിൻസ് ഓഫ് ന്യൂക്ലിയോടൈറ്റ്സ് ഈച്ച് ന്യൂക്ലിയോടൈറ്റ് കമ്പോണൻറ്റ് ഈസ് മെയ്ഡ് അപ്പ് ഓഫ് എ ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഷുഗർ ആൻഡ് എ നൈട്രോജനസ് ബേസ് ന്യൂക്ലിയോടൈറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ഡി എൻ എ കൺസിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് എ ഡി ഓക്സി റൈബോ ഷുഗർ ആൻഡ് എ നൈട്രോജനസ് ബേസ് The nitrogenous bases also known as nucleobases of a DNA are cytosine, guanine, adenine and thymine. These nucleobases combines with a phosphate group and a molecule of deoxyribose sugar to create a nucleotide. These nucleotides are arranged into two strands of complementary pairs and they will give the DNA a double helical structure. In this double helical structure, nucleobase adenine bonds with thiamine and cytosine with the guanine through hydrogen bonds. This unique arrangement forms the foundation for life in almost all life forms. It encodes the genetic information for cell growth, division and function. In a prokaryotic cell, that is cell without nuclear membrane, for example bacteria, DNA is dispersed in the cytoplasm and not bundled as a chromosome. In a eukaryotic cell that is a cell with a nuclear membrane, DNA is organized into chromosomes inside the nucleus. Along with the nucleus, DNAs are also found in mitochondria and chloroplast. RNA is also a polynucleotide that is a chain of nucleotides. But unlike DNA which has a double helical structure with the two strands of polynucleotide chain, RNA is single stranded and folded around to itself. There is also some differences in the composition of a nucleotide of the RNA. Instead of deoxyribose sugar that is ribose sugar without an oxygen, RNA contains ribose sugar. Also the nucleobases are same except nucleobase thiamine. RNA contains uracil instead of thiamine as one of its nucleobase. There are different types of small and large RNAs. But for the sake of this video, we are going to discuss only about mRNA, rRNA and tRNA. mRNA or messenger RNA is formed from a DNA as an identical copy. Through a process called transcription, genetic code in DNA is transferred to mRNA and this mRNA will facilitate the further expression of the genetic codes like protein synthesis. rRNA or ribosomal RNA together with the proteins makes up the ribosome. A ribosome is a cytoplasmic particle that serves as the site of protein synthesis. tRNA or transfer RNA is the RNA that transports specific amino acid to the ribosome for, for protein synthesis. The ribosome links these amino acids according to the codes in the mRNA to synthesize a specific protein. Next we need to understand about a widely popular term gene. The gene is basically a segment of DNA or RNA. It carries the code which is made up of nucleotides for a particular protein or for a functional non-coding RNA. These genetic codes of the DNA that is genotype determines how should be the physical characteristics that is phenotype of an organism should be developed. And these codes are transferred from one generation to another. Because of that, gene is defined as the fundamental physical and functional unit of heredity. 
all these genes inside a cell or a virus are collectively called genome now let's discuss different types of mutation there are two major types of mutations small scale mutations and large scale mutations small scale mutations involve deletion insertions and substitutions of one or more nucleotides of a gene large scale mutation is when several genes are involved such as a region of a chromosome or sometimes the entire chromosome examples are deletion amplification that is gene duplications inversion substitution or translocation of a chromosomal region or the entire chromosome large scale mutations are often serious or lethal as we discussed there are dna virus or rna virus based on its genome dna and rna molecules can be linear or circular double stranded or single stranded segmented or non segmented segmented means the genome is composed of multiple pieces of nucleic acids sars cov2 or novel coronavirus is a single stranded linear non segmented rna virus which means it has a single long linear chain of rna molecule inside it as its genome as we know when the virus replicates there is a chance for random mistakes during copying of its genome that is mutation it will sometimes result in the change in the nature of its structural and non structural proteins because you know that protein synthesis is based on the codes in the genome and the mistakes in the codes will surely reflect in the nature of the protein made based on it these mutations are very random most of the times these mutations in viral genome will not alter the nature of the virus drastically but sometimes some mutations will strengthen the virus such a way that change in nature of its structural and non structural proteins will help the virus to attach more firmly to the host cells receptors or to evade the immune system of the host more effectively this will result in sudden surges in cases of viral infection and severely sick patients this will overwhelm the health infrastructure of a country and number of deaths due to the viral infection will rise This situation is currently happening in India to some extent due to the double mutant coronavirus. There are different strain of SARS-CoV-2 globally because of the random mutations and several of them are present in India too. As we discussed many of them are insignificant mutations but some are very significant. Some of them are B117 UK variant, B1351 South Africa variant, P1 Brazil variant, P1617 double mutant variant. WHO and other or health organizations like Center for Disease Control and Prevention of USA classifies various strains of novel coronavirus into variant variant of interest variant of concern and variant of high consequence but various agencies uses various parameters for the classification because of the difference in impact of a new strain in different parts of the world WHO recently classified the new strain with a significant double mutation in its genome which is also known as strain B1617 which is found in India for the first time as a variant of global concern. The term double mutant coronavirus is actually a misnomer. This variant has not only two mutations in its genome. There are several mutations happen to it. But it is called a double mutant because it carries two significant mutations in its genome. which are separately found in many other coronavirus variants like UK, South Africa, Brazil and California variants. These mutations are significant because they trigger changes in the spike protein and other key areas resulting in changed viral attributes. We know that spike proteins of the virus facilitates the infection by attaching to the host cell surface. The most significant part of the spike protein is the receptor binding domain RBD which is responsible for attaching the virus to the human ACE2 that is angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptors on cells. The spike protein of the novel coronavirus has a total length of 1273 amino acids which is numbered from 1 to 1273. and rbd is denoted by residues numbered from 319 to 541 the main functional motif in rbd is the receptor binding motif which forms the interface between the spike protein and human ace2 receptors and it represents 
residues from 438 to 506. Any mutation that triggers changes at amino acid residues in the RBD or specifically at receptor binding motif will significantly alter the transmissibility that is the ability to spread from one host to another, virulence that is the ability to make the host severely sick and immunity evading potential of the virus. This is what exactly happened in the strain B1617. The B1617 variant of SARS-CoV-2 carries two mutations E484Q and L452R which means amino acid glutamic acid is substituted with the amino acid glutamine at site 484 and amino acid leucine is substituted with amino acid arginine at site 452. Both of these point mutations happened at sites represents receptor binding motif of the spike protein. This is what makes the strain B1617 a potentially dangerous variant of the novel coronavirus. The E484Q mutation is similar to E484K mutation found in the United Kingdom variant and the South Africa variant of the coronavirus. UK variant with this mutation is proved that it has a higher level of transmissibility. The L452R mutation has been found in fast spreading variants in California. It can increase the binding powers of spike proteins with the ACE2 receptors on human cells, making it more transmissible. L452R can also potentially enhance viral replication. Together, E484Q and L452R are more infectious and can evade antibodies. The strain B1617 is almost 1.5 times to 2 times more transmissible than the strain that first appeared in Wuhan 18 months ago. Now this new strain is present in more than 50 countries around the globe. And as of now there are 3 versions of B1617. B1617-1, B1617-2, B1617-3 with the slight variations and mutations. To avoid confusion regarding names, WHO started to assign simple labels to various strains of novel coronavirus globally. For example, the strain B117 UK variant named Alpha, strain B1351 South Africa variant named Beta, strain P1 the Brazil variant named Gamma. Like that, the double mutant variants B16171 named Kappa and B1617-2 named Delta. So this is all about strain B1617 of SARS-CoV-2. To those who want to know more about science and technology happening around us, please stay tuned and press the bell icon to get the notification when we upload new videos. Thank you.